Welcome back gamers. In Fading Afternoon, you step into the shoes of Seiji Maruyama, a middle-aged Shikusa enforcer recently released from prison. The game immediately sets a somber tone reflecting Seiji's struggle to reintegrate into a world that has seamlessly moved on without him. The game's narrative is rich, capturing the themes of regret, redemption, and the harsh realities of aging within the life of crime. The game's core strength is its combat system. It's a complex beat-em-up action that requires strategic thinking and precise timing, so you'll engage in intense brawls with rival gangs, utilizing a mix of martial arts, disciplines like judo, karate, and boxing. The mechanics are fluid but challenging, making each fight feel rewarding. And combat isn't all you'll be doing, as the game offers a variety of minigames and a sprawling city to explore. From playing poker to visiting hostess clubs, these activities add depth to Sage's world, making it feel lived in and authentic. And visually, the game is stunning. The game's pixel art is meticulously crafted. It captures the essence of a bustling Japanese city with a touch of nostalgia. The animations, especially during combat, are fluid and impactful. And the soundtrack, it's a beautiful blend of lo-fi jazz and Japanese city pop. It enhances the game's atmospheric storytelling. And each track seems carefully chosen to match the mood of each scene, pulling you deeper into the world. Some things I should mention is that Fading Afternoon does not shy away from mature themes, as the game includes scenes of graphic violence, alcohol abuse, smoking, and even suicide. These elements are integral to the story and add to the gritty realism of CG's journey, but they can be quite heavy. And while the game isn't perfect as it has bugs and somewhat clunky control schemes, but luckily these things don't overshadow the overall quality and the experience of the game. Fading Afternoon is a game I can recommend to you guys. It's a 7.2 out of 10, and it's a game that challenges you not just in combat, but with its story and themes, and I know it's not for everyone, as it is low paced and has heavy content. But if you're looking for a game that offers more than just a surface level entertainment, Fading Afternoon delivers in spades. It's a point and beautifully crafted experience that will leave you reflecting long after the credits roll. If you've played it, did you like it? Would you recommend it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.